What's up guys, back with another unboxing video and this is gonna be the Sima, 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 Sima? I'm going with Sima. The Sima X52C Sky Eye. Now this is gonna be a nano size quad with a camera in it and it's from Sima and every quad I've flown from Sima has been excellent. So I have high hopes for this one. First off, you can see the little quad sitting here inside the plastic. And I definitely like the way this one looks. I have the white version here. It also comes in a gold there. Let's just get inside and check out the quad. And we have, oh, it's all one plastic thingy. Underneath this little insert here was the instruction manual. Looks basically like your standard instruction manual. Usually don't read these things unless I have some sort of problem. And I usually have some sort of problem, so I usually end up reading these things. So make sure you check out your manual. So back to my little metal thingies hitting the table here. I'm gonna have to try to avoid that. So if you have any Sima quadcopters like I do, this controller here, the transmitter, is gonna look familiar to you. Looks like the X11 transmitter, and I believe it's also the, the X12 used this one, probably a few other ones. But this one does look slightly different. Um, are we wired in here? What is going on here? We're like straight up, I've, that's one thing I've never seen before. This is straight up wired back here. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that packaging. This brings me to our bag of goodies, which is under here. So let's just get into there. So this is gonna have our bag of goodies. It looks like we have a nice little micro SD card, four gigabyte in a case. That is very nice. Usually these things don't come with any sort of case for the SD cards. Got your standard screwdriver, a USB charging cable. Looks like a full set of props in here and a battery and some small components in there too. Not quite sure what those are. And a USB card reader. So this is loaded with goodies. And I hope this would be cool if this is an extra battery, but I'm not sure it is. We're gonna have to check out the quad and see if the battery's in there and if they send you two, that would be very nice if you get two batteries out of this guy. I was trying to He-Man it out earlier, but uh, obviously that wasn't gonna happen with it tied in like that. So not a fan of this. I mean, I'm not even sure what the purpose of it is. Looks like this one might have a charging capability from the transmitter. So that's kind of cool. Definitely different from the X11. So it looks like other than that, it looks like the same transmitter though. And let's see if we can get our quad out without too much trouble. Maybe not. So this looks like we might, oh, look at that, just came right off. I was just about to say, it looks like we're gonna need some scissors for this, but apparently I don't know my own strength. And so here we are with our little quad. Tiny guy, fits in the palm of my hand. Let's go right inside here and see if there's a battery. Yeah, ooh, look at that. There is a battery in here. So that is a spare battery that is in the bag of goodies. And right off the bat, I'm not sure I'm loving this <laughs> battery door. It does have an on off switch back here, which is good, but very packed in here. I'm not sure you can see this on the overhead cam, but we're real packed in back there. You're gonna have to plug in that cable. So that's gonna take some doing just getting that thing out of there. So let's peruse this guy some more. Definitely kind of like a mini Phantom style, or even if you're going with a Sima brand, it's kind of like the X8, I believe. Kind of like a real tiny version of that. Looking at it, the camera angle is kind of like a 45 degree, so almost like an X5C style. So that's a little bit unfortunate. You know, you're gonna have to be up a little ways from whatever it is you're shooting. Let's just peruse and see which buttons do what on the transmitter here. This is your flip button up here on the upper left. Your rates are gonna be here on your right. And obviously this is your throttle and your pitch and roll. So this is forward trim, backward trim, left and right roll trim. These would be your yaw trims. Headless mode is this thing in here. Where's our video? Where's our video button? Manual, see this manual is useless. I'm gonna guess it's one of these is photo, one is video. Let's, 
get out of here. Let's figure it out. If you want something done right, you gotta figure it out for yourself. Oh, we're bound. So let's figure this out. We got some green LEDs here, like a blue one here in the back. Let's see what happens when we hit this button. Saw a red light flash. I'm gonna guess that's a photo. Let's do a little photo shoot here. What's up? Get a picture of all of you out there in YouTube land. And I'm gonna guess if I hit this bottom button here, we got a double thing and now we got a flashing red light here. See that action? We're recording. Let's go up. So, not a bad little flyer guy. Quiet little guy. Let's get him in the camera here. Where are you going? Drifting. We're getting prop wash. Fairly stable. Wants to go forward. Try to trim it out a little bit. Come back. So the front of the canopy lights up nice and green in the dark. And there I should be maybe shooting myself. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Little maneuverable guy. There's your yaw. Not super fast, but we are on low rates here. Let's turn around. Not sure what exactly I'm shooting because of the downward angle of the camera. Hopefully I'm getting myself here. Believe I am with that angle there. And let's turn around. Let's go visit my overhead camera. How about that? <laughs> so not a bad flyer. I like this guy so far. So let's, I believe this is the right button, so that's a higher right. Let's see, yep, definitely more zippy. Let's see if the yaw, oh yeah, the yaw changes big time. Let's bring it back here and show you guys that yaw and try not to hit my lights. Look at that yaw, definitely changes. Whoa! Gets zippy on the higher rate. So it's just the two rates, the low rate and the high. The yaw does change. And well, why not try a flip, right? This one's little enough not to do too, too much damage. So that would be this left button up here. Uh, are we not gonna flip? Oh, I flipped it and I crashed it. <laughs> it's doing real good with that until I decided to go for the ill-advised flip. You know, I never do so well with these flips. So let's stop our little video recording. So now we're back, back to blue here. Definitely a big fan of this guy so far. Flies pretty quiet, flies very stable. This one was an Amazon purchase, right around 50 bucks I believe it was. I believe you can get this cheaper if you wanted to go with Banggood or Gearbest or one of those sites. I've definitely seen it on there. I wanna say it's in the 30s, but saw this guy, I wanted it wanted it prime, one clicked it, sent it to my house in two days. You can't beat that. So talking too much here, let's do a little more flying. Let's go visit the, let's go visit our camera real close. A little too close, my bad. Oh, and I noticed that we have stopped recording here. I didn't hit the record button, so I'm gonna guess. Yeah, we're flashing there, LVC. So low voltage cutoff. So obviously I did a battery, didn't have a full charge. So, so far the Sima X52C. I'm not sure if there's a just an X52 without the camera. If you've never checked out a Sima quad before, I suggest you do so. This one seems to be a nice flyer, although we'll come back with a full review. Definitely like the X5C. Definitely like the X11. The X11 may be my favorite quad of all time. So we're gonna fly this one around and see where it lands in the overall scheme of things. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you got any questions for me about the X52C or anything else, hit me up in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Gonna be doing lots more reviews, gonna be having flight videos. May start a weekly challenge series. 
So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy flying, guys.